Now, if we played this route first, we would have no idea of the significance of this place. But we are playing this route second, and so we know this is where Iris and Ota die. Yeah, you did not get out of the line of sight in time there, mate. He definitely just saw you. So I guess that is pretty much hard conf I mean, we already it already oh, was so pretty much hard confirmed that he's the polar bear dude, but like this is extra confirmed. Date, my apologies. What's wrong? Low battery? What? My battery is low. Are you serious? Guess it's not going to be a problem. I can still see out my right eye. My vision halved and I went into the warehouse. Hmm. White cloth. This is uh, It can't be. What the fuck? Iris. What? What? Already? And this time it wasn't streamed. Ida, what's your charge? And it was a different death. Why? What? What have we done that's changed that? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh no. And we did have a premonition of that. How? Premonitions aren't a thing. Location is Okira Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim. The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. And is Renju already dead? Because if he's not, then that's a different order of deaths to last time. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing hmm? Congressman So Sejima, bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. We're going in So's head. We're going inside So's head. Man, Iris gets a fucking raw deal. Dies horribly in multiple timelines. Oh right, who was at her door? She went off with someone and died. Real soon? I'm going to die. Was it so at her door? God damn it! Hmm. Hmm. Greetings, slut. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Get away with questioning a suspect? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get away with that as a fucking member of the police. Funny. I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Maybe he's lying, maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name... Uh, time of death. Thinking about how Iris's body was frozen when I discovered it. It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. Ah. Uh. I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. Man, that sucks. That sucks. She was on stream literally like an hour before she was 
fucking brutally murdered. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between two and three in the morning. Oh, I was think I was looking for things to combine, but it's only one thing, so it's where she was found then. No? Oh, it's so leaving the warehouse. I mean, I thought that was <laughs> she was found in the warehouse he was just leaving was my line of thought, but yeah. Wait, what it's not that either? What? What? Oh, that's not, uh, right. That's not what we're talking about. We're just showing her. Okay, I see. <laughs> I thought we were questioning him about. Okay, whatever. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Based on you leaving the warehouse, fucker. And, uh. Where she was found? Yeah. Iris's body was found in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? I stood up and went to the corner of the room. I picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Yes, you lying fuck. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse, but I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me. It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent, as is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. I know my rights. Okay, well, let me introduce you to the right to get fucking somniumed, bitch. Date, can I get a second? Seems like there's no fucking law that prevents us from just yeeting people to the dream realm. What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer, or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Alright, time of death. Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night, at a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Exclusive. It's Mahjong, you should have oh. had three opponents with you. Indeed I did, but they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, so... Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait. What did you say? Ha! We didn't tell him that she was stabbed. So he didn't respond, but I remembered he slipped up if I stabbed a woman. So he does know about the corpse because... I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. <laughs> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. Sync with him. Hell yeah, boy! I put so into chemically I bet he had a fucking thing to say about that. It will not affect the sink. Okay, Dante. Let's do it. Right. 
Yeah, boy. Please don't forget the six-minute time limit. <sighs> you say it every time. I feel like we're gonna go over it again, and I feel like we're gonna start experiencing more and more negative side effects. Although there'll probably be a branching path in here, I imagine. So it'll probably be one of those routes we stay in too long. What the fuck? Sure. Having a normal one. Did you witness my superior driving technique? Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No, I only pressed the wrong pedal. Yeah. That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Huh. Everything's like huh. melted? In a word, I'd say it's strange. That's weird. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. The man's somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. Uh, never mind. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. It's Iris. What on earth is she doing here? Getting fucking murdered? That's so. Iris! We can't go any closer? We cannot. That silhouette we saw. This is so Somnium. During a sink, we experience the subject's dreams from a third-person perspective. In other words... It has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. And if not, he saw it. What's going on? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes, we have to save Iris, no matter what. Yeah. Okie doke. Let's get to, to it do then. That, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Somnium scan. Activate. Okay, four on this one. Sinking in the villain. If Iris escapes, you may discover so secret. All right, make an escape path. Forklift. It's gotta be the forklift, right? A forklift. Uh, a drive? Roger that. Leave it to me. It is time to unleash the Drift King. Didn't you crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front wheel drive. <laughs> Incredible.
There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. It might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? Portal A, what? A mysterious warp space suddenly appeared. Uh put your hand in? Here? Yeah. My hand. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. How is she leaning on it if it's a portal? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. I was imagine turning around and fucking fighting back. Are those boxes in the way too? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. Okay, make another escape path. Five minutes left, Dante. I mean, this looks like a portal of some description. A door to the warehouse. I cannot see inside. Go in. Hmm? That door should have led to the warehouse. But it did not. <laughs> uh, not sure where I am. But there is a control panel here, so. Is this some kind of control panel? Investigate input fighting game combo. Uh, I would if I could spend less time on it. Uh, raise lever. No, it won't budge. Got it. No, well, that wasn't it. Then lower lever. It's a control pin. <laughs> no. Got it. Uh. It's huh. a control pin. Four minutes. May as well Does investigate. This go to the crane? It appears that way. Should we try it? Okay, but it won't it's a budge. Control... You know what? Fuck it. Fighting game combo, we can just reset. For humans to input? Yeah, the GH raging combo. Fine, just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. I think you can do it. I'll try. Wait, that actually worked? I didn't think that would actually work. What the fuck? Oh, it moved. Ring out! That's a KO! Do so we really have to keep watching her fucking get stabbed? Is there not gonna be a branching path here? Okay. A warehouse right. Huh. We really should have gotten that uh, 10 second one before we did the lever. Well, let's see if we can figure out what to do next. A warehouse. Deliver. We're going to have to. Like, we took off two minutes doing that fighting game combo one. If we do that door first, we can change it to 10 seconds, so. Obviously, that's better. Okay. A warehouse door. Oh. 
What's this? Something came out. Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. Huh, <laughs> makes a tiny? Okay. Wait, so we actually did the next thing correct as well? Is the box hanging from the crane in the way now? Was there something under the wooden box? Let's just go back and lift it up for now. Huh. I didn't expect that to be that easy. Okay, well we're gonna have to reset. Uh you have one minute left. All the way back to that. Five minutes left, Dante. Okay, so Let me go through here. A door to the warehouse. Meow. Then we grab both of these. A warehouse. A warehouse. Then we hit up this. We go for ten seconds. Input fighting game combo. Wonderful. We head back through here. A warehouse. A warehouse. Uh, I guess we can halve that. Much better, much better. So, a crane. we operate the crane, tackle, throw something, ride. Eh. I don't think that's the way to go necessarily. Oh, we can go through the portal, can we? What is this? Looks like a premium channel before you pay for it. <laughs> Peek inside? Oh, I got smaller. If you got any smaller, you'd be as flat as a surfboard. Okay, that doesn't do anything for me. I can't Three go down time. here, so. A warehouse. Do I hear deep, excited breathing. Don't tell me. You sit up. Oh my god, shut up. Do I need to go back through the previous portal? Wait, can I do anything with this portal? A warehouse. Delivery! Wait, does this this portal probably takes me where I need to go, right? Yeah, okay. Is this some kind of uh fighting game combo again? No, it won't budge. Got it. Well, if that wasn't it. It's a control. Uh, raise lever. Understood. Is there something underneath it? Sure is, bud.
If you can just walk up to him and kick him, you could have done that at any point. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. That shadow must be... Okay, no branching paths. Nice. Did it in the time limit. Hooray, hoorah, hoorah, hoorah. Do. Wakey, wakey, so. Day three, Sunday, QSI. Whatever that means. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. And Date and Iba. Hmm. Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True, he could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. Yeah, or not. Why did you call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. What's your alibi? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. It does. They're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. About Iris. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. You killed Iris. I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are sure. you talking about me? Yes. Sure you, you did, mate. I don't remember exactly what I said. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Boss. It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. There's no way. No. He still must have. There's absolutely no shot that he didn't see what was under that he was in the fucking warehouse. thing. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? Yes, because even if you weren't in there for that reason, you would not see a big thing in the center of the warehouse covered up by a cloth that looks really weird and not check it. He looks tired. The medicine hasn't worn off yet. Wait, there was more. The color is drained from his face. Can we get an arrest warrant? Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. You really shouldn't say that in front of him. <laughs> that you can't submit that evidence in court. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Uh, about Somnium? I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one in the same, it's like you saved her, Date. Oh yeah, I'm a big hero, mate. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. I'm sorry. No shit, dude. Did the CSI import report anything? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but that warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. I know. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? Searching. 
It is. Boss is standing there. About the mysterious figure. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Somnium. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear after all. Even the subject of the dream themselves. I told you earlier that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves, like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you. I don't think he sees himself as God sees him. I think he sees himself as God. It's an ability many charismatic people share. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous, it could be so. Indeed. Alright, what is this ego algorithm? Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. Right. Uh, keep going. In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition. Cognition. Consciousness. All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. No, but I imagine the person who built the first microwave probably did. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. You surely have to understand it to be able to develop the thing that interacts with it. Well, I've heard During this one, right? The sinkers, they enter this at this time. The yeah. This is Ooh. Dante from Abyss. What happened? What was this, sorry? Uh, actually, is this different? Maybe it's just the same question, but different answers. An egg, the egg is the yolk that goes in the brain. I mean, it's just a different way of describing what we already know. Okay, it's from the investigation hey, team. Sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. It's now a good time. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The one at Ariake? Warehouse District? Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's... Uh, not here. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Oh no. Oh no, what it's our brain playing no tricks. It's our brain playing tricks on us. And we can't check with Iba because she was turned off when we came in here and we never went back in with her, so she took our word for it. Iba took our word for it that her body was in here, but it never was. 
We've been investigating based on nothing. I think. But then... Well, but then... So was dreaming of her getting stabbed, so... Hmm. So maybe it did happen. Yeah, we looked everywhere. Maybe someone else has come to collect but the body. Nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure... But this is the timeline where he stayed in, uh... Who's, whose head was it that we were in? Was it, it was Mizuki's head, right? We stayed in Mizuki's head too long? Oh, wait, no. Is that this timeline? Oh, I'm actually struggling to remember now. There's so many timelines, it's hard to keep track of more. Was that, was it this timeline that was the one where we stayed in Somnium too long? And it messed with our head. Or was that a different timeline? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. No. There's another possibility. There is? And what is it? <laughs> Do you want to elaborate? Iris's house. What? D Date? Iris. W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Um, something wrong? Yeah, what the fuck? The world. <laughs> okay, Changed. we must have... Wait! Is it saying what I think it's saying? Is it saying that... Okay, I, d I don't know. Am I going off the deep end? Day four, Monday. I missed the thing, but it doesn't matter. Am I going off the deep end? Or did we go full sci-fi and it's saying that the change we made in Somnium has changed the real world? Because we don't understand how it all works and shit. Is that, is that what it's saying? I don't know. There's a bunch of possibilities. Either she was never there at all and we were just seeing things because our head is getting fucked up because we stayed in Somnium too long. Either it was like a double or a like you know, a fucking, like, replica or something. Or maybe saving her insomnium saved her in real life somehow. I don't know. I don't know, man. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Yeah, but what if we went full sci-fi? Maybe the dream changed reality. That would be sick. I feel like it's probably not that, but it would be sick if it was that. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. Alright, we're gonna leave it there. I know it's a bit of a cliffhanger, but uh, unfortunately, that is what we gotta do. Uh, something for Mama. Was it just the picture that's new? <laughs> Skills. Has the uncanny ability to detect to detect virginity. Damn, that is uh, that is quite the skill to have. Incredible, incredible. Connectome. Insanity. Do do. Three laws. Oh wait, there was something in the album as well. Nice. All right, that's it. That's where we're leaving it for today. So when we come back, we will try and figure out what the hell is going on with Iris. And uh, I'm sure So will have a few choice words for us, depending on uh, depending on what's happened. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more I, the Somnium Files. Thanks again. See you then.